When I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall. In the back of my mind, I hear my conscience call, telling me, stand up straight, son. You're my little professor. Hot dog, he looking shocked today. That was my grandfather, John Lee Sherrod. He's the man who raised me, taught me how to be a father, taught me how to be a man. He also taught me about perseverance. He worked at Pratt & Whitney and drove the school bus full time for over 30 years. That's perseverance. He was married to my grandmother. And if anybody knows my grandmother, she is no joke. That's perseverance as well. Now, I'm a father of two great children of my own, Zymia and Demetrius Jr. I love being their father, but there are times when I look back and I realize if I didn't have my grandfather to see, I would have given up on a few battles. Let's take a look at one. October 27th, 2006, my baby girl was born. We call her Mimi. It was amazing seeing her face for the first time. But we had a problem. Or let's just say I had a problem. You see, me and Mimi's mother had moved on from each other before we knew she was pregnant. It never really hit me until the day she was born that I realized I would be leaving the hospital empty-handed. No baby, just pictures. No baby, just pictures. Why? What if the dad had the better environment for the child? I was told, hey, that's just how it goes. But that wasn't enough for me. So I started fighting for my daughter, knowing she wasn't in the best environment that she could be in. I filed court papers. Actually, I filed a lot of court papers. Year after year after year. All feeling like failed attempts. I couldn't even get my baby girl 50% of the time. I was told by the judge, right here in this court. Sir, sir, we don't do that here. I was so frustrated. I stressed to the court. I'm not a weekend dad. I'm a parent-teacher conference dad. I'm an everyday homework dad. I'm a take the kids to the doctor dad. After years of fighting the court, I received a call one day that broke me down to tears. The caller stated, are you Demetrius Chambly? Yes, I am. I'm calling from the Department of Children's and Family. I'm told you have Zymia. Yes, I'll be picking her up today after school. Why? I'm sorry, Mr. Chambly, but we believe your daughter is in a dangerous environment while being at her mother's house. So we'll have to take temporary custody of your daughter. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me you're gonna take my daughter away from me? because of something that happened at her mother's house? I'm sorry, Mr. Chambly, but we'll be at your home at 4 p.m. to remove your daughter. My heart dropped. I was angry. I was frustrated. I cried, attempted to tell my daughter that DCF was coming to take her away from me. Yes, DCF came and they took her. My wife and I, we could not sleep. I didn't even attempt to go to work. But in my mind, I kept thinking about how my grandfather always persevered. So me and my wife, we met with DCF to give them a better scope from our point of view. I thought about my grandfather and then I thought about me. So I told him, I've been employed with the same company for over 11 years. That's perseverance. I went and got my college degree. That's perseverance. I've been married to my wife for over 10 years and she is no joke. Now that's perseverance as well. You see, I believe it's hard to catch what you can't see. I'm glad I was able to see my grandfather. Hopefully fathers, when you're given a chance to persevere, you see me. The next day, April 5th, 2019, DCF 
made a special recommendation and vested custody in me. And this time, this time, I didn't leave empty handed. I left with my daughter.